Dangerous crashes like these happen every day in this country without warning, leaving people vulnerable to serious injury and death. You know, just last week we covered the case of a car that crashed into a fire station, but the biggest risk is for shoppers and business owners just going about their day when a driver slams into a storefront. Investigator Bill Spencer traveled to Texas A&M University where engineers are studying ways to stop crashes like this. Tonight he's revealing new technology you could soon see at stores and restaurants across the city. They are horrifying crash scenes, not out on the highway, but inside the stores and restaurants you and I visit. According to the Storefront Safety Council, it's happening 60 times a day, killing 500 people a year, injuring more than 4,000. People like Miguel Cedillo, a husband and father seriously injured as he was eating dinner with his family when suddenly a car came crashing right through the window where he was sitting. I got very scared when I saw the car was coming. I thought it was going to hit us. Sure enough, it hit us. The crash so violent, Miguel was pinned and one of his legs completely crushed. His leg was crushed to such a degree, uh, the doctor said, we, we simply can't save it, we have to amputate. Now, engineers at the Texas A&M Transportation Institute are developing and testing newer, stronger storefront barriers to keep accidents like this one from ever happening to you. These are examples of the old-fashioned, standard-designed barriers called bollards that sit in front of thousands of stores and restaurants nationwide. And it's basically just a steel pipe. A lot of people use common, uh, common pipe, they put it in the ground, they fill it with concrete. The problem is, for years, many of those bollards were never tested at all. And when engineers did test them by running test cars into them at just 10 miles an hour, they went down like bowling pins. This barrier right here, I mean, is this actually going to stop anybody from driving into a store? Very, stop a car? very limited cases. If, if I own the store, I wouldn't have this in front of it. Now, Texas A&M's Michael Bracken and I set up to show you a brand new kind of protective bollard, one that he has spent years designing along with a company called Traffic Guard. What's different about this than the other concrete filled barriers? Couple things, primarily size and thickness of the wall. Watch now as scientists prep to crash this 5,000 pound specially designed unmanned test vehicle into this new state of the art protective bollard. In the first test, the car is traveling 10 miles miles an hour. And just look at that. The barrier works. The test car is stopped dead in its tracks. Okay, time to up the stakes. Engineers will try it again, this time running that test car down the track at 30 miles an hour. Yep, that works too. Even at 30 miles an hour, the pole flexes and bends back about 12 inches or so, but that's it. The bollard stands its ground. Anyone standing behind it would be protected. We're really focused on building an environment, a safe environment, so that people are in fact protected from a, an errant driver, distracted driver. Now, as it stands right now, there are no laws requiring these protective bollards be installed in front of storefronts or restaurants at all. That is something the Storefront Safety Council is fighting mightily to make a reality. So explain this to us. Why for so many years have there been these barriers in front of stores that are essentially worthless and can't even stop a car? It's a great question. I mean, engineers and experts on this told me that it basically, you know, contractors would put out these big cement balls or, mm -hmm. or metal pipes with concrete in them, something like that. And they looked big, they looked strong, and they just kind of said, hey, we're good to go. They didn't really know if it would work or not, and apparently they not. don't. They it's don't. amazing yep. how many of these kinds of accidents we're seeing in the Houston yeah. area these days. Yeah, 60, 60 a day across the country. That's Almost huge. Yeah.